Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan and uh, good day to all of you. Uh, today I would like to uh, explain uh, about data transform when the function is in the form of multiplication with t to the power of n. Okay, multiplication with t to the power of n property. If that plus f t equals f x, then the, the function is in the form of t to the power of n f t. The Laplace of t to the power of n f t is equal to minus 1 to the power of n times the nth derivative of f x and f x is Laplace f t. Okay, we know that n is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and it's a positive integer. Okay, and you can see that ft is in the form of either exponential function, exponentiality, or trigonometric function, sine at and cos at. Okay, now let's take a look at a few examples. Uh, we start with uh, an easy example. Okay, the first question, we have the last class of t x Exponent t. So you can see that t is the of f1. Therefore n is 1. And the function of t is exponent t. The Laplace of x exponent t, fx equals to 1 over x minus 1. So we're going to put all the information here into the formula of the derivative. So the Laplace t exponent t equals to negative 1 to the power of 1. First derivative of 1 over x minus 1. Okay, so this is negative 1 to the power of n. And the first derivative is determined by n. And fn is 1 over x minus 1. Okay, then minus 1 to the power of 1 is minus. I'm going to put this uh, 1 over x minus 1 in the form of x minus 1 to the power of minus 1. Okay, so you can see that. Uh, how we can easily differentiate the function, right? So minus one bring to the front. So minus minus one is positive. Okay, then x minus one, that power is minus two. Therefore, the final answer is one over x minus one squared. Okay, let's take a look at the second example. Laplace t sine t. Again, you can see that t is to the power of one. Therefore, n equals to one. The function ft is equal to sine t. The Laplace transform of ft, fx is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. Alright, we're going to put all the information into the formula. So the Laplace t sine t equals to minus 1 to the power of 1. And the first derivative of 1 over x squared plus 1. Negative 1 to the power of 1 is minus. Okay. Then again, I'm going to write 1 over x squared plus 1 in the form of x squared plus 1 to the power of minus 1. Okay, so you can just uh, normally differentiate the function. Negative 1, bring to the front, so minus minus 1 is positive. Then x squared plus 1 to the power of minus 2. Then we're going to differentiate the x squared plus 1, whatever is the bracket, with respect to x, then we get 2x. Okay, therefore... The Laplace t sine t is equal to 2x over x squared plus 1 squared. Okay, let's move to medium uh, question. We have Laplace t squared x minus t. Okay, t to the power of 2. Therefore, n equal to 2. So, you can see that uh, we're going to need to solve second derivative. Alright. f t equals to x1 and minus t, then fs is equal to 1 over x plus 1. Okay, then we're going to put into the formula uh, of derivative, Laplace t squared x1 minus t equals to minus 1 to the power of n, n equal to 2, and the second derivative of 1 over x plus 1. Alright, okay, we're going to write 1 over x plus 1 in the form of x plus 1 to the power of minus 1. Alright. So we start with the first derivative, we bring minus 1 to the front, okay, you can see that minus 1 squared is positive, right, bring
bring minus 1. Okay, then the first derivative, bring the minus 1 to the point, get minus. Then f plus 1 to the power of minus 2. Alright. Then again, we're going to differentiate the resulting of first derivative. Bring minus 2 to the front, so minus times minus 2 is 2. Then x plus 1 to the power of minus 3. Okay, therefore, the last plus t squared x minus minus t is equal to 2 over x plus 1 cube. Okay, uh, this is uh, an example of hard question. So we have last plus t squared plus t, t squared, and equal to 2. Cos t is f t, therefore the Laplace of cos t is x over x squared plus 1. Laplace t squared cos t equal to minus 1 squared. Okay, and second derivative of x over x squared plus 1. Right, negative 1 squared is a positive. Alright, so we're going to solve the uh, derivative. Or you're going to differentiate s over s squared plus 1 twice. Okay, so bear in mind that you're going to see that e is a rational function in the form of fraction. Therefore, in order to find or to solve the derivative, we're going to use the quotient rule. We start with the first derivative. So we have the quotient rule here. So v u prime minus u v prime divided by v squared. Okay, then we simplify to get negative x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared. Alright, again, uh, it's in the form of a fraction function or fraction equation. Therefore, we have to use quotient rule. Okay, so we have here v u prime minus u v prime right over s squared plus 1 to the power of 4 all right so how can you simplify the uh, answer okay you can just need to factorize the s squared plus 1 so s squared plus 1 you can see that for the first term, we have, because we have factorized the s squared plus 1, what's left is s squared plus 1 times minus 2s. And the second term, so we have minus 4s plus minus s squared plus 1. Alright, you can see that it has a similar uh, term. So we can simplify further and you can also simplify whatever in the bracket. Okay, then the final answer is 2s cubed minus 6s over x squared plus 1 cubed. Okay. So you can try to solve a few exercises in the slide, right? Let's start with an easy question. Okay, uh, I write the guidance. Uh, they put out the calculation. Okay, you can see the guidance. You can start with how to change n, what is the function f t, f s, and how you're going to write the function in formula or, or the derivative in formula. Okay, and the final answer. You can start with an easy question, medium question, and hard question. Okay, uh, please take a time to solve the question. Thank you so much.